In this video, we're going to look at how to insert media, and in this case, images, into our post. What we're going to do is we're going to come up to this icon, mouse over, and we see that we can add an image. I'm going to do that. We'll see this dialog box open up. And in this case, we're going to choose files to upload. So I'm going to select some files from my computer. And I've got a file that I want from my desktop, so I'm going to just scroll down to it. Here we go. So I'm going to choose this file. I'm going to open it. With it open, I now see that there's a bunch of different uh, variables. For example, the title is Profile Pick. I'm going to change the name to Tom Johnson. Alternate text, I uh, can call him Teacher. The caption could be, uh, this is a profile pick. And then you could even put in a description. I'm going to skip that. Link URL is what happens if somebody clicks on the link. So if we don't want it to open to anything, then we put none. Okay. If we want it to actually link to a file or a URL, we can choose that in here or a post. And by default, what's happening is it's going to open to a page that just shows your picture. And I don't really like that. So I put none all the time. Now we want to look at how it's being aligned. Is it going on top of the text with nothing around it? Is it to the left side of the text, in the middle, or to the right? So I'm going to try, I'm going to put it onto the right. And the size, you could have it a thumbnail, medium, large. And in this case, because it's already a pretty small image, I'm going to leave it at full size. And we want to remember to actually insert it into post. Often I might save it, and you've uploaded the image, and it's on your blog, but it's not on your post. So don't forget to insert into post. Here we go been inserted. There's the caption. And I'm just going to update. Now that it's updated, I want to view the post. Great. I've got an image. And when I click on it, it's not opening anything up. Let's look at what would happen if I insert an image, but I don't change it to none. I'm going to insert the same image, but I'm going to make it so that it doesn't go to none. I'm just going to select this image. I'm going to delete it. And I'm going to insert an image by coming over here to add image. But this time, because my image is already up in the blog sphere, I'm going to go to my gallery. And I'm going to look at my images that I have to choose from. I should only have one. Here we go. So I'm going to show this image and see what's there. And right now it says everything that I just put in. Now, this time, with the link URL, I'm not going to put none. I'm going to leave what's in there. I'm going to say insert into post. And it's going on to the right hand side. And I'm going to preview the change. Now you notice that the mouse over, if I click on it, it's going to actually make it so that it will open up something. Let's see what happens. See, I don't like it that it just opens up the image itself. So that's why I like to put in...